Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to Snow Fog Outdoors. I'm Diane and today's video is brought to you by a Paco Box. Um, for those of you that don't know what a Paco Box is, I'm sure most of you know what it is. It's a um, subscription like gear box. It's a bi-monthly subscription. Comes every other month. And I got this box about two weeks before Christmas and with all of the busyness and craziness going on with Christmas, I literally forgot I even had this box till the other day when I basically tripped over it. So that's why this video is a little late um, coming on. But I just wanted to share with you, this is my very first box. It's the December 2015 box. Um... And the reason I like this subscription so much is that it's kind of an interactive type of gearbox. Um, it's basically a bushcraft slash survival gear that comes in the box. And when I what I mean by interactive is every box that comes comes with a skills challenge. And they include pretty much everything you need to complete that challenge and you can go post your video of yourself doing the challenge on their website and I think that's pretty cool and you get stuff that you'll actually use there are other subscription boxes out there that are great don't get me wrong um a little pricey some of them you know if you want to get good stuff but this is just fifty dollars every other month so kind of like, you know, $25 a month if you look at it that way. And then I think it's like $8.95 for shipping in the U.S. So maybe $60 bucks every two months if you want. You have to include the shipping. Um, but a little bit about this. This is the creation of Creek Stewart. Um, and I'm sure you all know who Creek Stewart is. He's a outdoors guru, wilderness guru. Uh, he was the host of uh, Fat Guys in the Woods on the Weather Channel. He has a uh, wilderness school called Willow Haven Outdoors. Um, he's just awesome. He puts a lot of educational materials and a lot of educational tools in these subscription boxes. And I like it because it makes you learn. I mean, you know, why get the box? Why pay for it if you're not going to challenge yourself? and uh, make the most out of it, I guess. So let's get into it and see what we got in the box. I, like I said, I just put this away and forgot about it, so I haven't really even dug in here much. So you're seeing it pretty much the first time I am. They always include a list of items that are in the box. Oh, and one more thing. If you get your box and you're not happy with it, you don't like the theme of it, you can return it for a full refund. This is a non-contract type of subscription, which means you can cancel at any time and there's no, no penalties, no anything. Um, so I think that's a really great deal. You know, you're not bound to like six months or a year or anything like that. And it's it's just a really cool inexpensive way to get gear because if I had my way I'd shop 24 7 and this kind of puts the kibosh on that because you know what why shop when I when I get this um they also include these little things like uh he recently gave away a, a knife and um it was the John Russell sheath knife with custom Voyager Leatherworks neck sheath and you can buy these. Um, if you're a subscriber, you get, like, discounts. Um, Non-subscribers really aren't allowed to go to the shop. You have to have a password and stuff to get in. But they put all kinds of cool things in there that you can buy. Um, right now, he's doing Escape the Woods, your chance to learn it, prove it, win it. I mean, he just has so much going on on his website. He's an awesome guy. I've you know, emailed with him a few times, and just a really, really nice guy. Um, 
Another thing that you could purchase, a uh, DIY hinge bamboo horse bow kit. And you, re you, get a, you get a pretty good deals on this stuff. All right, so here's a disclaimer. First off, I'm a paid subscriber to the Apaco Box. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm not trying to encourage you to go get a subscription. Um, and I'm not compensated in any way by showing you my box, my Apaco box. So this is just me showing you what I get every other month. And, you know, I'll put a link below if you'd like to go check the site out and uh, see for yourself. But I, I think you get your money's worth and then some. All right, so let's see what we have on the list here. Like I said, I haven't been in here to, uh... oh, the December 2015 Apaco box started the Aboriginal Woodshop series. And every Apaco box that they put out has handcrafted, at least one handcrafted item in there, whether it be uh, Kuxa or a knife or whatever. And, and this one starts the first of four hand-forged bushcraft and survival edge tools. And they're made by Reptile Tool Works, Tool Works in Kentucky. Um, says here with these four tools you can accomplish almost any woodworking task imaginable in the field from bow making to camp furniture your creativity is the limit so let's take a look at that tool shall we caution knives are very sharp let's see what we have in here This is the first in the series. Whoops. This is the Willow Creek hand forge. Ooh, he's right that sharp. Hand forge knife. And what they've done here, I'm going to cover this before I have a boo boo. What they've done in here is they put a spoon blank in there for you to carve a spoon. So this must be the challenge for you to carve your spoon, make a video of it if you like, and put it on the website. So this is the first of four hand forged tools made in the US and they give you instructions of how to use the knife and carve the spoon. And I think that's really cool. They don't put a lot of stuff in here that's gimmicky and, you know, Chinese. It, it's, it's good stuff. So there is the willow leaf crook knife. What else do we have here? And it has a value of $25 on it, by the way. And Creek always encloses a patch, some type of morale patch, if I can find it. This one says, not if, but when, and that, that is his logo. You'll see it on all of his websites, on everything he does. It's not if, but when, and it's Velcroed, so you can stick it to a bag, a hat, whatever. Next, they have all kinds of goodies in here. A pocket notebook. And two carpenter pencils, again, with his logo. Hang on. It's not if, but when. Notes from the back 14. And it's just a little notebook for you to take out with you, put in your pack. Pretty cool. The mountaintop high patch had a value of $5. The pocket notebook and pencils, $6. Next, and he usually always includes some types of bandana in his boxes. Um, some have like how to tie knots, how to find wild edibles. This one is the Handy Hanky Forager's Bandana with a value of $10. And this also comes with instructions. Oh, you can even make it into a uh, drawstring bag. I give you some cordage. 
Let's look at this thing. Oh, wow. So basically, it's like two hankies hemmed together see that, to create a bag. Kind of like a uh, browse bag. You could make a pillow out of it. That's pretty cool. That's less sewing I've got to do. That's pretty awesome. I like that idea. And you can tell it's hand sewn. And again, comes with instructions to use it, wear it. Cool. And that had a value of $10. Oh, yeah, this next item is not something that I'm really interested in. Can you see the black specks in this sucker? This is a candy sucker with free ant protein. Yes, I said ant. It's called Ant Licks Watermelon Flavor. With a value of $3. Ah, uh, yeah, no. You can actually see the ants in there. Yeah, I won't be using that. Sorry. Huh. Next is the Bonafide Bug Out Splint. And what this is, this is one of the most functional splint designs on the market and can be used to mobilize or protect almost any broken bone or injured limb. From fingers to legs, the foam-wrapped aluminum can be molded to fit. Any smaller finger splints can be made out if necessary. You can secure the splint with cordage, medical tape, or even duct tape. It rolls compact to fit in almost any first aid kit or bug out bag. Never bug out without one. Yeah, I'm reading from his list here. I don't want to open it and unravel it. Pretty cool though. Nice, it's light. Nice splint. Okay, what's next? Oh, Dragon Fire Extreme Tinder. This this splint, I'm sorry, had a value of sixteen dollars on it. Dragon Fire Tinder. Now I've heard a lot about Dragon Fire Tinder recently, and never had the chance to to get any. Um, it's all natural tinder. Um, it's hand prepared and hand packed. Durable waterproof pouch filled with all of nature's flammable goodness. No two bags are alike. From cattail down and birch bark to applewood chips and chaga fungus, this pouch is all you need to get a fire going quick, no matter what the weather conditions. Hmm. All right, let's. Let's open this a minute and take a peek inside. Obviously, I can't use it. I'm inside today, so. And I'm in the boss's room. Shh, don't tell her. Her workshop room. Oh, wow. Ooh, I wish you could smell that right now. Oh, there's a lot of fat wood stuff in there. Wow. That'll get a fire going. There is all kinds of goodness in this bag. Yeah, buddy. We're going to have to give this a whirl. Dragon Fire Tinder. Value of $13. That right there is worth the box. I got to tell you. All right. What's next? Time to get Naughty Kit. I said naughty, not naughty. The Camper's Knot Tying. It's a kit and a game. 40 need-to-know knots for scouts, climbers, hikers, campers. Learn the art of knot tying. One or two players, ages 8 to adult. That's pretty cool. Throw that in your pack, and when you're out and you're bored, you can uh, practice your knots. That's pretty cool. It has a value of $6 on it. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, I was wrong. The um, the crook knife and spoon blank are not the challenge. I apologize. We're getting to the challenge right now. The December skills challenge. Learn how to make pine pitch glue. Oh, something I've never done before. 
And here's the entire kit that they give you. Again, instructions for everything. And you can also go um, to the website. Uh, Creek has videos, step-by-step uh, -step videos of how to do these challenges. And wow. Beeswax in there and everything. Char cloth. That's pretty awesome. Pine pitch glue kit. They give you a little tin to make it in. Kit contents, one bag of beeswax, one bag of gum rosin, one bag of charcoal, and one tin case. And all the instructions on how to make it, and how to make an Indian torch, an arrowhead, all kinds of uses for it. That's pretty awesome. And that has a value of $11. Here's the charcoal, the sticks, the rosin and the beeswax. And they've even marked them B for beeswax, R for rosin. Oh, I can't wait to play with all this stuff. It's like Christmas every other month when you get a box because they never divulge the contents of what's in there. You just know you're going to get, well, with this series, you know, uh, some type of survival blade of some kind. All right. DYI Fatwood Mini Ferro Rod Components. And I believe this... Ooh, look at that piece of fatwood. That's rosinous glory right there. And a little mini ferro rod. And this is to test the glue that you've made. And it says there's a little mini ferro rod. And then it says you can take the piece of fat wood to carve a handle for your ferro rod. See what I mean? It's just so interactive and it gives you so much stuff to do. And I can honestly say that there's nothing in this box that's going to go to waste except for that ant sucker thing. I, if anybody wants it, let me know because uh, I'm not putting it in my mouth. I'm sorry. I don't like bugs. I don't, I'm not going to eat bugs. And next is something that he put in the box for Christmas. And it is a neck warmer. Seamless multifunctional tube. And it has Creek on it. Oh, that's freaking awesome. It's like a neck gator. Put it on. Oh, and it's very stretchy and very, very light. Put it on your head, your neck. I suppose if you were thin enough, you could wear it as a dress. Huh, not me. All right. So that's it for the December 2015 Apaco Box. I hope you liked what I had to show you. And as always, the packing you can use for Tinder. If it's not shredded newspaper, it's usually like... um. Uh, shredded wood, uh, that Excelsior wood that they use. So yeah, I'll put a link below to uh, the myapocalypse.com and you can check it out and see for yourself. They also show past uh, subscription boxes. Um, I'm really happy with it. I've wanted one. I've wanted to subscribe for a long time and just never got the chance. And uh, when I saw they were doing the the four boxes of the carving tools. I'm like, that's worth it right there for me. Um, so I decided to treat myself to a Christmas present, and that was the Apaco Box subscription. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please uh, leave them down in the comment section. If you want that Aunt Lollipop, uh, I'll be more than happy to send it to you because I'm just probably going to toss it or give it to somebody as a joke. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll be doing some videos on uh, some of the contents in here, using them. So, y'all have a good day. I've got a, another video to uh, do today, so I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.